Do you like working with large machinery? Can you communicate with other people using voice and hand signals? Are you comfortable working at heights? If that's you, then you might want to climb into a career as a crane and hoisting operator. Crane and hoisting equipment operators service and operate equipment to lift and move large loads from place to place on job sites. These loads can weigh several tons, and the equipment may consist of anything from fixed towers to mobile crane or boom trucks. To get a bird's eye view of this uplifting career, we talked to a crane and hoisting operator working in Alberta. My name is Fred Leps, and I'm a crane and hoisting equipment operator. In Alberta, there's four different types of crane operators. Boom truck operators, mobile crane operators, tower crane operators, and wellhead boom truck operators. For me, um, it's operating anything over 15 ton. Here, we specialize in boom trucks, all-terrain cranes, rough-terrain cranes, and crawler cranes. The machines I typically use on a day-to-day -day basis is an all-terrain crane. I mean, you have outriggers, you have dollies, and you have a boom that you have to manipulate up and down. That's basically all the, the moving parts of the crane. A typical day is, uh, depending on what crane I'm taking to a job, um, I come to work, I kind of look it over, service it, make sure everything's good to go with the job. Um, say I'm lifting like a tank or a building or something, we'll have the right equipment there. Uh, we'll go through everything on the job and then we'll carry out the task. My grandfather was actually in the business. He was the vice president of the local 955 Operator Engineers Union. So he gave me an opportunity to, to uh, go try the job out and I loved it. How much does the stone weigh, you figure, the counterweight? Every day is different, every job is different. It's always hard to figure out how to complete the task, so I love the variety of the different challenges. We can work uh, out of town on sites, anywhere in the city where they need a crane, small towns, so wherever they need a crane, we'll go. So you are responsible for basically the general maintenance on the crane, checking your fluids, making sure the tires are pumped up, making sure you have gear oil on all your tires, basically to see if the machine is ready to perform its task. There's a lot of heavy lifting, heavy shackles, you're lifting heavy slings all the time, you're climbing up and down, so it's good to be in good shape. When we're sitting in the cab, you have a computer that kind of shows your weights on what you're dealing with, so your radiuses, your net capacities, all the different types of stuff, and then you have controls that controls the boom, the line, your swing, and different parts of the crane. It pays good to be good with your hands because you can't be jumpy with the controls. You need to be nice and smooth, so it does pay to have nice, calm hands. There's a lot of on-job training because you're not used to certain types of machines that different companies have. They kind of train you on that piece of equipment on the job. To be a crane operator in Alberta, you have to be registered as an apprentice. Therefore, they can keep track on how your apprenticeship is going, if you're going to school, because you have to complete in-class and on-job training to become a journey person eventually. You can definitely work your way up to um, a superintendent, or you can even own your own company. The most satisfying part of the job um, for me is when we go to sites and we complete the task at the end of the day when everyone's safe and uh, everyone's happy that we completed the job. To anyone interested in becoming a crane operator, I would say you have to have a go-go mentality. Um, it's really fast-paced, especially in this industry. If you want a challenging job and a fast-paced job, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend this job for sure. I definitely do love this job, so another five years from still doing this, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> This job needs someone who can safely manipulate heavy loads and work at heights. It also helps if you have stamina and don't mind working in all kinds of weather. If you have good hand-eye coordination and can communicate well within a team, your prospects of being a crane and hoisting operator are definitely looking up. Get a better handle on this career, including training requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. While you're there, Check out related occupations, including heavy equipment operator and water well driller. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.